Hi what's up everyone, in this video we are going to talk about the top best camera for portraits you can buy on Amazon. If you are new to this channel please consider subscribing to our channel and press the bell icon. You'll want a camera with high resolution, excellent autofocus, and a good variety of portrait prime lenses, whether you're a professional portrait photographer or a weekend warrior who knows their way around flashes and reflectors. We've chosen a collection of cameras that fit those criteria and will deliver professional-looking photos to your clientele. This list is based on my personal opinion and research and lists them based on random numbering. If you want more information and updated pricing on the products mentioned be sure to check the links in the description below. So let's get started. On number 3 colon Nikon D3500. If you're considering about purchasing your first serious camera, you're probably not going to want to spend a lot of money. The Nikon D3500 is marketed as a first-time camera for persons with limited photographic experience. This is a camera you can learn and grow with, featuring a useful guide mode to help you grasp how everything works. Typically, it will come with an 18-55mm f3.5-5.6 kit lens, but if you have a little more cash, a relatively inexpensive 50mm lens, see below, will give your photographs that extra edge. On number 2 colon Sony A6100. Sony's very successful A6000 camera proven to be a tremendous seller, and the company has subsequently significantly expanded the range to include a variety of cameras at various price points. The A6100 gets our recommendation because it preserves many of the features that were popular in the original while also evolving a couple of them. The addition of real-time autofocus tracking and IAF is a fantastic new tool for portrait photographers. When the camera sees an eye, it may automatically detect it and help guarantee that it is as crisp as possible. It works on both humans and animals, pets, ensuring that the entire family may enjoy flawless photographs. On the downside, the A6100 has a plasticky feel to it, and while it's considerably better at video, still shooters won't notice much of a difference from the A6000. On number 1, Panasonic Lumix D100. Panasonic and the Micro Four Thirds system have been in the mirrorless game for a long time, so while you do get a smaller sensor with this system, you also get a huge selection of lenses, not just Panasonic's, but also Olympus. The Lumix G100 is one of Panasonic's newest mirrorless cameras, and it's packed with video features that also aid with stills, such 4K photo, which lets you extract 8MP stills from 4K footage taken at 30p, thereby giving you a 30fps stills frame rate. The beautiful shot will no longer be destroyed by a small blink or head movement. The G100 also has a more classic camera form factor, which makes it more fun to use than some mirrorless cameras, which can be boxy and plasticky. The G100 is an excellent choice for portrait photographers because it is both light and sophisticated. So guys this was the video about the best camera for portraits. Dot all the links are given in the description, do check them out. If you enjoyed the video be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thank you.